going to be making a little house out of this pumpkin, this craft pumpkin, because there's a contest at work. And a uh, little medieval house out of this. It's going to be round, a little house for little people. I imagine it's going to be very awkward trying to put up pictures or arrange furniture in something that's circular, but I'm not going to be moving in it, so it should be fine. Uh, come and watch it. All right, so let's get right started with this. Let's first choose an angle that's going to be good for the front. Uh, I should note that this is a craft pumpkin. This is not a regular pumpkin. I bought this at Walmart for about six bucks. It has a plastic do uh, top on it for the vine. It's not actually put on all that great. It's a little loose. So I might have to reinforce that with some glue. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to be... Um, it was already white and speckled like this, so I thought I, there'd be less painting because it actually already has kind of the stucco type look to it already. So I was like, okay, that's good. That's, that's less painting for me to do. I don't have to just paint over something that's or orange already. Um, so let's start off with a little medieval house door, which is going to be kind of tough because this is rounded and I didn't quite, maybe I didn't quite think this through. I didn't want to actually have to uh, put additions onto this or glue anything because that's not really the way that I have an understanding of the contest at work was going to be. So um, I'll put like little stairs made out of... We'll have the whole foundation made out of... first just so I have an idea. And it's probably gonna need to go up higher than that, but that's good enough for right now. Let's draw the door. regretting I'm choosing this because you can't really make things straight with a ruler <laughs> on a curved pumpkin surface. It doesn't work. So painter's tape. So we're just going to put a tape around two different positions, paint it, take the paint, take the, take the tape off. It'll be perfect. At least I'm saying that now. Very soon, I probably won't be saying that, but for now, I'm gonna live the lie and go with that. And we'll do some stonework. I'm pleasantly surprised. little foam circular thing on the end of the stick. It was included in a very cheap paint set I got at Walmart. And wow, that's actually doing pretty good. It didn't come out so well. 
face off. All the way around, that's nice. Let's do some brown. Again, that's a version carried at Walmart. And since I've got this, I don't have to carry about making a straight line. I can just paint right away. Okay, not too wasteful on the paint. Now, let me try to... Ooh, that's not so good. The outline of the door. Now, here we are. All painted up gray there. Let's uh, do another... Now, I'm gonna be covering a large area. I'm gonna see if I can't get away with a little bit of water on this. Try to make a little bit wetter, cover more area. Oh wow, that looks really nice. Eh, whatever, let's go for it. of the hat doorway is what I'll shoot for. Okay, that's all done. All the woodworking that I'm gonna do for this project is pretty much complete, so the brown's been put away. Uh, now I'm gonna do the windows in these spaces, and I'm using this paint, uh, a Martha Stewart's Crafts paint. Again, this is something that I got at a estate sale. It's a pearlescent, so I'm hoping that that's gonna look pretty good in terms of glass and windows. And I'm once again gonna just paint this on with a uh, time lapse, and let's see how that goes. So here's how that came out. Pretty nice. I don't know if on camera, yeah, as you can see how there's that shimmer, that shine on there. Uh, so it looks very windowish, very glass like. Uh, took two coats only to get that kind of effect, which I'm pretty happy that it didn't take longer than that. Uh, next, gonna do some highlighting of the stonework. Um, before putting on the final details on the stonework. Uh, so to do that, I'm gonna use a, uh, this is a toasted marshmallow. It's basically a white, and I'm gonna be using this very nice little uh, sponge. And this is definitely a natural sponge. It's not one that you get off of, a, um, I mean, that's a manufactured one. So I'm gonna be doing that, and I'll do it as a time-lapse to make, make this go a little bit quicker. I just uh, did out some stuff, but basically I have now completed all the little highlighting I wanted to do. I used the sponge to add in another layer of a darker gray, and that tan that I was, or uh, the marshmallow that was just basically white on there. I then also painted on the window planes with that white, and then added gunmetal gray for some shading. To put on gunmetal gray for the, oh, I should probably show you, gunmetal gray, this paint. 
uh, it's a metallic paint, so it comes out shiny. And I did that on the door hinge. As you can see, when you when I move it over, it gets a lot of shine on it compared to the acrylic, uh, as well as the doorknob or door latch. Um, so all those details done. So now comes the dreaded part of this project and the most tedious part of this project, which is of course adding in all the remaining detail. And I'm not of course going to paint that. I'm going to use a sharker, Sharpie. Very fine, fine point. And I'm going to use that to make the rest of my details. I'm going to put this on a time lapse and um, I might not even do this all tonight and might have to do two time lapses or I'll just do a real big quick edit so you can see the big finished product reveal at the end. Okay, so here it is, finished product. Uh, I could potentially put some more details on this, like some greenery, some ivy or vines, or some bushes or something like that, but I'm, I'm hesitant to do that because it kind of looks com complete at this point. Um, and I think uh, if I was going to do that, I'd probably want like just alternate terrain just nearby it anyways, but here's the entire product. Um, Took me only an evening to make, so I'm happy with it. Um, and of course, this can all get repainted over again and used as another Halloween decoration uh, or something else in the future. Um, the, I was thinking about painting the top of this, but I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. It looks fine. Um, so there it is. I'm gonna put up some uh, glamour shots, basically, and take some still photos um, to show it off pretty good. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, please uh, like, subscribe, uh, see my other videos I have posted uh, on the channel. Thank you.